I went back to 75 kilograms. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, to my new subscribers. My name is Bonaro Matiche and to my old subscribers. Thank you for coming back day one. You guys already know the drill. You guys know that I appreciate your support so, so much. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, kindly click the red subscribe button down below to join the hot stuff family. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. And we are growing so well. So gradually, I love it. I love it. Please do make sure that you subscribe and you help us get to um a thousand subscribers we are this close guys like this this close guys like we are so close to 1k and i'm so excited and i thank you guys um to all that have clicked the red subscribe button i'm here because of you guys so thank you thank you thank you so much i genuinely appreciate it and yeah please um do call on your friends tell them to subscribe you know help us to get to that 1k subscribers but i believe in us and by the end of this year maybe early next month we will be on that 1k sub is i'm praying and hoping and manifesting it and yeah guys um as you can see guys by the title it's a girl talk it's a girl talk but if you're a guy and you watch my channel please listen for the sake of your little sister that is maybe still growing please please just a little quick <laughs> disclaimer guys on that regard i'm not a health professional i don't know anything i'm not an expert so what i'm going to talk about here is contraceptives that i have tried contraceptives that i have tried i went out of my way and tried them and my review is not the final review um one one thing that i'll always always advise a person is that just try as many contraceptives as, as you can go on and try the pill go on and try the injection the two months one the three months one and just try as much as you can this thing of just sitting back and taking people's words for it is what what made a lot of us to fall pregnant at such a young age bodies are different and we react differently to different contraceptives so this is my experience but you can just take points here and there okay okay we got so that. guys my contraceptives journey i think that's head 2020 i'm going to put the exact year when i made a contraceptive related video because i once made that so this is an updated one so i started on contraceptives ka the yes pills i started being on the pill so with the yes pill guys it was amazing if you listen to that video which i'm going to link in the description box check it out it was amazing guys i absolutely loved it i used it i think for maybe a year or two years and it was treating me good guys i was going on my period very well um with the with the pills um they they show you exactly when you're going to be on your period and for how long you know so you know what every month i'm going to go on my period which is absolutely something that i love i love going on my period going on my period makes me feel like a woman it makes me feel confident it makes me feel beautiful guys whenever i'm on my period i feel beautiful i feel like i'm being cleaned you know that blood and um, that comes when you're menstruating it's dirty clean our bodies and all of that guys i'm not trying to be a life science teacher which i am but you know i love going on my period so that was something that i absolutely loved got the yes peel i didn't get any weight guys it was beautiful God, it was a contraceptive of my dream okay absolutely loved the yes peel guys i felt pregnant because i stopped using the yes peel and i stopped because it started like doing a number on my abdominal um area i started feeling like abdominal pains and i didn't understand but i just quickly assumed that it was the contraceptive and also i wasn't consistent at all i'm not going to sit here and lie thing is with the yes pill you have to take it every day at the same time so if you're deciding well, okay i'm going to drink my pill at 8 p.m that means every single day at 8 p.m you are drinking a pill so that inida moto alim consistent someone who is serious about taking the pill someone who is 
gore e go nida gore o be consistent o be reliable wankwa it needs you to be reliable and you know what days are different some days ka 8 pm i'm at home some days ka 8 pm maybe i'm out with my man sometimes ka 8 pm i like that day i didn't even sleep at home okay so with the pill what i'm going to advise from now on is that go with the pill everywhere you go i started experiencing abdominal pains and i just dropped it i was very childish guys the way i dropped the pill it was very childish of me that's how i felt pregnant i had stopped i think i had stopped using the pill for like two months around about that time i, I think two months ish or a month and a few weeks so yeah then i fell pregnant with the pill you fall pregnant immediately you fell pregnant immediately my doctor told me that if you've been on the yas pill and you stop using it you don't have to wait a certain period to fall pregnant immediately after leaving it tomorrow you might fall pregnant so it's very very important for you to take the pill every single day then i went on i fell pregnant and then after my baby the first contraceptive that i tried was the patch I tried an Evra patch, which is, I'm going to put it right here. I tried the Evra patch, guys. So with the Evra patch, guys, it's just a little patch, a little white patch that you put on your, like, on your body, anywhere on your body. I was putting it right on my bum. I was putting it on my bum because that is the area that nobody sees. Only, uh, okay, it's not an area that a lot of people see. Let me just put it right there. My sister is also on a the Evra patch so i saw her putting it right there and i was like girl that's a good idea i'm going to put mine right there so you put it for seven days if you put it on wednesday on at 8 p.m you must take it out ka wednesday ka 8 p.m and put another one immediately you can bath with it you can shower with it um you can do everything with it as long as it's on your body and it's attached to your body with the Evra patch guys the ever patch was horrible like i started experiencing the worst um yeast infection of my life okay i got it yo guys my baby down there didn't get a break she didn't catch a break guys it was the worst yeast infection of my life and there was a point where i think i used it for two weeks because with the first week i was like okay man let me just give it a try you know you can't just drop it get the first week tried it first week it was horrible second week i started um realizing what actually it's not the, the the soap that i use i use green bar guys you guys know that is my girl i've been using green bar it has been good and then i started um thinking to myself well, what is the new thing that i've added to my body and obviously it was the ever patch because i didn't change a deodorant i didn't change my lotion i didn't change my um soap Obviously, the only thing that I changed was the Evra patch. And guys, trust and believe that immediately I dropped the patch. Everything was good. Everything was good down there. I don't experience the worst yeast infection. I haven't had a yeast infection even since then. So, yeah, I've, I just dropped it immediately. I think I used it for two weeks. So, but with this patch, that's why I'm saying I'm not discussing this patch because a friend of mine is using this patch. My sister is using this patch and it's treating her well. She's still using it till this day. Even my friend told me that it was good to her. She absolutely recommends it to everyone. And she she's the one that actually told me to go on the patch. But also the fact that my sister was using it, I was like, okay, you know what? Since people are using it, my friend is also recommending it to me. So let me just give it a try then that's how i gave the patch a try so you can still give it a try and see how it works for your body it's so easy guys you just literally take it and you just place it on your body wherever you can put it here you can put it here just make sure it's not um around your boobs um and obviously not in your internal areas you know maybe you're you know just put it <laughs> somewhere i don't like it at all i'm not going back on it i'm never going to try it ever again but you guys can try it because my sister is using it and she's loving it and guys after that i was like you know what this thing of me running away from injections must end 
with the injection guys like baro injector maybe if you're taking the three months one they inject you and then it's going to be in your system for three months you don't have to it's not something that you have to do it on a daily or on a weekly i used the two months one and so i went for my first jab of the contraceptive it was really nice for the first two months it was good guys i didn't gain weight no side effects i mixed not any headache and it is a next up any any physical change everything was good okay with it everything was good and then i went for my second jab um and then guys that's where things just went for me things started going left for me because i gained a lot of weight like i'm at a weight where i was when i was pregnant okay i was okay i hate saying this but i was 65 kgs when i was a month um into my pregnancy and then when i gave birth i was at 75 and then after i've given birth i lost the weight guys like i went back i felt like i was I was back i think i'm going to insert pictures here i went back to my original weight before baby and i was feeling nice and confident and then guys quickly after that after the injection i just gained the weight all over again guys i went back to 75 kilograms i feel horrible even saying it but i gained weight guys my face i got pimples for days okay i'm not someone who breaks out that was such an out of body experience because i've never experienced such a thing i've never had problems with my skin you guys know people compliment me for my skin i always get compliments with my skin but this time guys my forehead had hormonal pimples i still have them actually when i'm doing this i remember i still have them i don't know if they are visible but I still have like hormonal pimples all over. But I'm going to insert a video here to show you exactly how bad this pill, this injection was to me. Like to me and my face. Okay, don't mess with my face. You can mess with a lot of things, but don't mess with my face. When I started seeing that my face was not cooperating, guys, I was not confident. People were seeing it. People were pointing it out. I was stressed, okay? It was stressing me and my homegirls so i stopped it immediately not immediately but i just i didn't go for my third job i was like i'm not going i'm not going there i remember my doctor even called me and she was like girl we have an appointment um on this and this i was like girl i'm not coming i'm not coming i'm leaving this contraceptive and yeah guys i left the contraceptive it was the worst the weight gain i am not even going to try and try the three months one guys i'm not going i'm not going i know i'm going to gain even more weight i know i think this injection is horrible for people that already are chubby and because i have a slender friend that is on the contraceptive but didn't can gain any weight and i am yet to find someone who is chubby and is on the two months injection and hasn't gained any more weight okay but i'm not discussing it i'm still saying you guys should try it and also guys let me mention the fact that i went on my period for two weeks straight okay and i was it was a little bit of sporting i would say i was sporting for maybe one week and the second week i was full on going on my period like it was so terrible and the fr the slender friend that is on the two months injection that hasn't gained weight is telling me that it's horrible with her because it's making her to go on her period for long and the, the period cramps are the worst okay so that's what she told me and guys with the negatives that i have with the evra patch and the two months injection i'm not saying you guys shouldn't go and try it trust me please go and give it a shot you will not regret this like going on a contraceptive is way better than being a young mom let me tell you being a young mom is not it if i knew better guys immediately after dropping the years pill i was going to go on the years plus i was going to explore as many contraceptives as i could but i didn't and i had my lovely son which is okay but i wouldn't recommend for a young girly to be a young mom i'm not going to try and make it fashionable it's not it's overrated and it's not cute okay it's not cute so guys 
with me right now i'm not on contraceptives but i'm not relaxed i am definitely going back on the yas pill and i love the yas pill because i know i'm going to go on my my periods very well i hope i'm still not going to gain weight um the period one is for sure the weight one i'm not sure if maybe this time they're going to treat me well or not so i'm still going to go on and give them a try but this time i think i'm going to go on the yas plus give it a try a good good try and see and then guys i think this time i'm going to update you guys in a vlog or something about the yas peel because i'm going back on it for sure with the yas peel the only thing is the fact that the price it's too much i think it's 230 or something that was the last time i used it by the way that is the price of the last time i used it and Ferro ramaphosa's economy i don't know what to know you will get it give guy but it's a little bit on the pricey side so make sure that you always always have money for it because it's very very expensive 200 and something for contraceptive that you have to take every month that's a lot and every six months you have to go to the doctor and get a prescription which is something that is also so crazy because it's still an additional money okay another thing that i absolutely do not like about the yes actually the yes pill i don't like the admin of it the whole side effects of it it's better but the whole admin of it is not good because um, they don't allow you to stock up that's number one because at least you would know well, okay this month get two boxes of the yas peel and then gets well okay i'm covered for two months they do not allow that they allow you to only take the another box of the yas peel if maybe you are there are seven pills left on the previous one let's say this month okay i go on and get the the, the yas peel box okay if i still have like seven pills i can go and get um another box for next month but if you have like 10 or 11 pills they do not allow you to take another box so that's the downfall of it that means every month you have the responsibility to go to town and get your box okay that's something that i'm willing guys i'm willing to go through i don't know if um public clinics have um contraceptive pills but i think so i think they do have actually i think they do have so if you do not afford to buy the yes pills you can go to um your public clinics they do give out contraceptive pills okay don't just sit there my honey and wait this whole now i'm using the pull out method pull out method pull out method the whole um what's this um morning after pill method <laughs> ask me i will tell you for free I will tell you if you you are starting if you started your sexual life be on contraceptives if you don't want to have a baby guys having a baby is not fashionable i'm not going to come here every day though and cry about the struggles that i have with my son but trust and believe that i do go through the most okay i go through the most with my son it's a journey that i'm willing to take and it's worth it but it's some um, it's a journey that i would never recommend to my age mate okay okay so let's wrap this up before story story cut so yeah guys that is my journey with contraceptives i hope you start yours i hope this will inspire you to start yours i haven't tried a lot of contraceptives i wish i had so that i can have more information but guys any contraceptive that you hear people talking about give it a try <music>